a standard checkpoint here and they're going to be stopping people and checking the documentation well a very good morning welcome back to the channel my name's tony if you're new here then please do check out some of my older content today we're over in patong and we're going to be taking a look at a side that i think is the most important side here in patong i have covered it before i did a live stream but unfortunately it didn't come out very well it's been well over a year ago the quality wasn't there and i've been wanting to come back and redo it so today's that day what side are we talking about well i'm talking about ratchet it i will of course put the full name of this side in the bottom of the video so you can see it we're just literally at the start of it and we're going to have a stroll down here and see what's along this side straight away we're going to see lots and lots of facilities there's everything down here from casual shops motorbike rentals small restaurants large restaurants accommodation of all kinds whether it's hotel accommodation rooms as you will see as we walk down this side now i'm not going to cover the whole of the side in one video because this side here's quite long and it's going to take a while to walk all the way down it so i'm going to break it into two so you don't get bored so please do watch both parts and then you will get the full experience of the side you will know what's down here a little drinks place there banks motorbike hire on the opposite side please do check out the video description because my wife's got a hire company so if you're thinking about hiring we do deliver the bikes to a patong so it is possible to hire from us and we might be able to offer you a better rate money exchange across the road there so already lots and lots of facilities so this is why I say this is probably the most important site here in Patong. It is somewhere that you will definitely be visiting during your stay here and probably spending a lot of your time because of the extensive facilities. Another hire shop across the road. No shortage of those along here. Massage shops. This site also has the entrance to John Salon, which of course is Patong's main shopping mall. And across on the opposite side of the same site, Ratchetit, you also have the central shopping department store. Another, there's a mixture of small restaurants here. So they're doing Thai food lots and lots and lots of these small places along here there's a few soys leading off this main soy or road they're called soys over here if you don't know what i'm talking about when i refer to a soy it's basically a road it's a thai, thai name for a road so wanted to show you this for some time as i say and cover it in a little bit more better quality than the last time i did it convenience stores all the way along here everything really and that's why I say it's the most important soy down in Patong and you will definitely be spending some if not most of your time along here because the variety of restaurants it's a great place to come in the evening time find somewhere to eat move and pick over there or move and pick however you want to pronounce it large chain hotel lots of those along here and we are only a few minutes away from the beach area on this side so if you're looking for somewhere to stay then this makes a good side to stay along good morning <laughs> massage lots and lots of massage shops along this site as you will see a lot more in in the second part of this soy so in the second video you will see a lot of girls working in the massage shops along further down the bottom heading towards the marlin plaza which if you follow my channel regularly you will know i've covered so that will be the second part of this video but for now we're going to make our way down here to bangla road because of course bangla road comes out at the onto this soy so the bottom of bangla road one end is Beach Road and one end is Ratchetit Soy. Of 
quick mention about the weather. You can see yourself, it's a bit cloudy today. I'll be honest with you, we haven't had a lot of good weather the last week. In fact, we've had some storms passing through and across Phuket and it has brought some very bad weather. A lot of people in the group, in my Facebook group, asking about the weather, even sending me private messages about the weather. And I will say, I'm not a weatherman. And even the weathermen struggle to predict the weather over here. It's just impossible to predict. And what I will say is, if you're that worried and concerned about the weather, then I suggest you not come at this time of year. And what I'm talking about is monsoon season. And that normally runs from sort of, uh, May time. Sometimes we get some nice weather in May. Nicky's handlebars, the bar there, and that's obviously a biker's bar, but a really good bar to go and check out. They do food in there as well, I believe. I haven't personally visited it as yet. We've got, before I carry on moving down, I've just noticed behind me is the Ibis Hotel there, and the Red Planet Hotel as well. That's another one that you might want to check out. As I mentioned, lots and lots of facilities as regards accommodation. Lots of soys leading off this road, going down to accommodation. But as I was saying about the weather, if you really don't want to see any rain, then coming in the monsoon season is definitely not the right time to be coming to Phuket. Because it's almost guaranteed that during your stay here at this time of year, you will see some rain how much and for how long nobody can really say i can't predict the weather not over here in phuket because it changes so quickly and so often sometimes we get some really nice weather thank you and sometimes we don't it's that simple how long the rain's going to rain for is anybody's guess how long the sun's going to come out for again is anybody's guess so please stop with the private messages asking me about the weather because there's just no way that I can predict what the weather's going to be like for your holiday. Tour shops, again I will mention, check out the link in the description of the videos. I do have a connection with Nika, better call Nika as she's known. She is a tour agent, a very experienced 10 years plus, very reliable, trustworthy and she also offers great prices for people that follow my channel or are members of my Facebook group. So do mention me if you contact her to get her best prices, but it's not always about price, it's about service and reliability. And that's the reason why I'm associated with NICAP because she offers first class service and she's very, very reliable. She has got a shop, good morning, Swadika, on Soy Nanai. So if you prefer to go and deal with her face to face, then you can do that or you can book everything online. She takes PayPal payments. You can talk to her on WhatsApp, on Facebook Messenger, whatever it might be. And she will sort out all your tours and trips and give you a great price in the package as well as a great service. Big Novotel Hotel on the left hand side here coming down. But today it's a little bit cloudy but very warm. Yesterday was quite a nice day, the sun was out most of the day, no rain. The last couple of days we've had no rain but before that we were having some very, very heavy rain, strong winds, it was very unpleasant to be honest. Pots, points and trinkets. Bar and food place there. So it's a little after 10.30 in the morning and it is a Thursday morning. Looks 
looks like there could be a policeman down there, probably doing checks because Ratchetit, especially near the Bangla soy area, you will see a lot of police checkpoints. So if you're coming over here and you're hiring scooters, then make sure you've got, yep, yeah, there's a police checkpoint just here. I can see them on the other side of the road. Make sure you've got your documentation in order. Make sure they've just stopped that lady there on the bike. She's got no helmet on. Perfect excuse to be stopped. Make sure you're wearing a helmet because it is law here that you have to wear a helmet. And all we, <laughs> she's got a helmet under the seat. A lot of good that'll do her. She's got it out now. The police have stopped her. But she look, could be looking at a fine, depending on what sort of mood they're in. You're giving the police ideal opportunity to stop you if you've not got your helmet. They are looking, to be fair, for foreigners because they know a lot of foreigners don't have the correct documentation. This is a place you might want to check out, right where the police are standing. They do some great barbecue food in there and they're famous for the ribs. So you can see a standard checkpoint here and they're going to be stopping people and checking the documentation. If you've got the do correct documents, if you've got a full license, you're wearing a helmet, then you should not have a problem. A lot of people moan about the police over here, but the reason why a lot of people get fined is because they don't have the correct license for driving. A motorbike, because you need a full motorbike license. Unfortunately, over here, and as we know, most of the tourists that come over here hire the bikes even though they don't have the license and then they moan when they get fined by the police well all I can say is if you're going to break the law then you've got to expect some consequences that's all I will say on the matter it's entirely up to you so we're heading now down towards Bangla a few massage shops over there I believe yeah. a couple there lots and lots of massage and tour shops everything along this road really you're going to find the whole lot that's what i like about it we're coming up to a, a little soy called soy het or the mushroom soy that's a good little place an, a, an alternative to bangla road you don't want to be down bangla road it's got a few bars down there you can get some quieter drinks there are girls that work in the bars down there i'm just going to go to the the crossing here rather than just walking across there because sometimes people don't pay attention and they even when you're on a crossing you don't get any drivers giving way to you so you have to be keep your wits about you over here unfortunately when you're crossing the roads especially here in Patong because it's busy as you can see now I think Soy Het is just here yes I will do a separate little short video on that because it's a great little soy. There's a number of bars and restaurants in there. I'm not going to say completely family friendly. And we'll carry on now down towards Bangla. We're not too far away from Bangla actually. And that's where I'm going to end today's video. And then we will take you back up on the next video covering the southern part of Ratchetit. I'm going to do the northern part today. Come and have a look along this soy. One of the tiger places. I don't know whether it's open, a tiger restaurant. Maybe open later this evening. Lunchtime onwards, I'm guessing. You can see numerous little soys off this main soy. Across the road there, the Royal Paradise Hotel and Spa, of course, very well known. Here in Patong, that's that big building just at the back there. A lot of new places that have been built since Covid, so it's changed quite a bit over the years and is constantly changing to be honest. Paradise Plaza, there's a little shopping, indoor shopping market area, shall I call it? Yeah. 
got some stool, clothing stalls I can see. There's probably a few food places in there. Go and explore and find out what's available. too far now from Bangla, just a few minutes by the locks of it. Now there's a, a very well-known restaurant we're going to be passing in a moment. I don't think they'll be open, there may be, I think lunchtime onwards, number six I believe it's called and uh, whenever you go past this little restaurant, they do a lot of Thai food in there, it's always packed and there's normally a queue outside. I've heard some very, very good comments about the place, the food, it's quite cheap for Patong and the food is good. I haven't yet personally tried it because every time we've come over to Patong and thought about going in there, the queue has simply just been too long to be bothered to wait to be honest. So if you can be bothered to wait or the queue isn't too long when you go there, then it might be a place that you want to check out. If you've eaten there, Swadi Kap, I want to do some shooting there, she's got a gun range, you can go and shoot some machine guns etc. Breakfast place there, that don't look too bad, it looks like they're going to have some building work doing on it at the minute down. A bit of remodelling. small indoor place there being built by the looks of it that is. exchange rates what do we have 35 for the US uh, euro 37 is dropped down where's the UK pound I'm trying to find it there I can't see it um, 39 that's Sweden Switzerland I'm looking for the UK pound where's the UK pound on there oh there it is 44 okay and the Australian dollar 22 so it's sort of hovering around the 44 mark and 35 mark for the UK and US and 22 for Australian dollar 38 for the euro seems like it's been around that sort of mark for the last two or three weeks to be honest every time that I've sort of had a chance to grab the exchange rates Taipan the famous nightclub so we're very close now to Bangla Road and I haven't seen that restaurant. Have I walked past it? I haven't seen it. I thought it was just here. I'm sure I've walked past that without noticing it. Maybe it was closed then. It's called number six. And this here is Bangla Road. And that has took me 20 minutes to walk from the top down to here. So I hope you've enjoyed this first part of a Ratchetit soy, a very important soy here in Patong and one I'm sure you're going to visit. Lots of facilities as I mentioned along this soy and if you've enjoyed the video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and don't forget to check out the description down below because all the relevant links will be included and down there and I guess that just leaves me to say as always thanks for watching and until next time you take care and I'll catch you on the next one